Well, in our central London studio is the stand-up comedian and TV presenter Joy Carter. Joy, thanks very much for joining us. You know, looking at Sir Anthony Hopkins there, doing his impersonation uh, of, of Tommy Cooper, it does remind you that his, his biographer once said that on anyone else's lips, his jokes would have been hopeless. Uh, but delivered by Tommy with all his childlike innocence and charm, it made an audience roar. Yeah, he had the ability to really connect with an audience and really engage with them, make them feel like they were the only people there. And he was always just so that boyish, churlish, sort of muddlesome way of, oh, it might go right, might not, and oh, let's see what happens, we're all in it together, it was fantastic. And even off stage, he was just like that as well. Always, you know, like for example, um, he, if he was getting a cab or a taxi, he'd often say to the uh, cab driver, a little, here's a little something for, for later. Now the cab driver would think it was like going, going to be like a five pound ticket or a £10 tip, that should just be, a, you know, have a drink on me, a tea bag. Brilliant. He was just great. Well, that was just plain old tight-fisted, wasn't it, Joy? <laughs> Handing a taxi driver a tea bag. I thought you were students, yeah. You look a bit like hungry. <laughs> Chips, pizza. Right, this is for you. This is for you. Because in middle, ketchup is only 25 pence. It's brilliant. 25 p. And it's great because you can still put it on your chips as normal, but you, you can also put it onto an open wound and it will just heal. And to my mind, being in a loving, stable environment is far better than being in, in a children's home. Yeah, I, t I completely second that. Um, people often say to me, what about the colour match? Well, let's just break this down, OK? There are 36 different shades of black skin. Yeah. If you're going for a colour match, listen, I know I struggle with a Mac counter in Selfridges. You know, we're going to be here sometime. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just not going to happen, you know? So just loving parents. Listen, my, yeah. my parents chose me. I was adopted out in Nigeria in the Biafran War, you know? <laughs>